Hey everyone. I've done a number of videos here recently. I've published none of them so far. Uh, so I'm not sure where this one's going to fall in the pecking order. But I'll try to keep it quick. I always say that. I never do it. But maybe one day. And um, But if I can keep this one short, it's more likely to get published sooner. So that might mean it's... I've done a video similar to this for the one series. This one may come out first. That one may come out first. Just not sure. Um, what we're doing today, we've got the 1.75 um, inch bore cylinders. Um, you can see here, no interference here. Also, well, you can't see, but this, this diameter will fit between here. So no issues around scraping uh, on the inside there. So, uh, th that said, uh, and I think this is going to um, lift more than most people are going to want to lift. Anyhow, assuming you put your pressure up to the upper end. So, in an ideal world, this would lift a ton off the ground, maybe a little higher. Um, but, we'll see what it does. And I'm not going to change pressures. I'm going to leave this. The pressure at this one is, is around 3,000. PSI. Let's see here. Let me set my. I'm gonna get my uh, peak. So the first time I did this, I did not set it on peak, and I kept moving back and forth, <laughs> and didn't do much. Uh, I had to guess at it, and then I had to go use two cameras. Not gonna do that today. So tractor is somewhat warmed up. Not wouldn't say it's hot, but it's warmed up. Certainly the engine's warmed up. I don't know about the hydraulics. <laughs> So we'll just do two pulls on this, keep it short. Start with, uh, well, maybe three. Start with 1500 PS, 1500. Now, uh, let's do this pull and then I'll see what happens. So 1500 RPMs, that's going to be a little less than 3000 PSI, 1972. Uh, I can't remember where I set this, but at 1500 it's probably pretty close to 3000. So I'm not quite a ton at 1500 RPMs. Now keep in mind, we're at the front edge of the bucket. We are using a uh, crane scale, you know, who knows, plus or minus 5% maybe on the, on the accuracy. Ken's bolt-on hooks are holding up good um, but you know we're we're well in front of the pin uh, here and we are also oh, I'd say almost two feet off the ground 24 inches so you know this is not uh, scientific at all uh, this is me trying to get close to what we did before and I think what we got before <clears throat> uh, well no actually I can't do what we did before because uh, I haven't done a stock test with this tractor I'm relying on what tractor time with Tim was able to do I think he got to this height is actually somewhere around 1,500 um, pounds, but he obviously had his weight in the bucket. He also had his bucket level. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. This really isn't even comparable to anything that's been done, but in a, in, you know, in a directional sense, we'll say, you know, real world, he was able to put 1,500 pounds in the bucket level here. The fact that we're out here on the edge of the bucket, um, probably gives us a, at least a bit of a disadvantage even though we've curled all the way back. I'm just doing that simply to bring it as close as I can. The curl doesn't really affect anything in this case. <clears throat> so that said, uh, I'm giving you information that, that <laughs> honestly can't be compared to anything, but uh, I, I will. it will give you a directional sense that we're definitely lifting more than with the stock cylinders. Eventually I will do that test. So, 1500 we got less than a ton. Let's just, uh, let's just go all the way up. Back wheel still on the ground. No surprises there since the two 
two inch uh, cylinders were on the ground. 2072. So you can lift very much, without question, I think can lift a ton off the ground. Um, probably at least to this height. If not, you know, at 2,000 pounds, probably a little bit higher. Um, you can see, I don't have probably the full 2072, but you get a little squat on those tires. These tires are certainly more uh, better equipped than the 1 Series tires to, to lift that kind of weight. Um, and this is, you know, this is really within the factory spec uh, for pressure. Um, my experience so far, I know that I've had a lot of people ask about doing the 2 inch cylinders. Uh, and pretty much everybody said, look, the the problem, you know, and you almost can't even see it, but it definitely wore the paint off just a bit. No problem with that. And I get that because I'm, I'm kind of in the same camp. Um, not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, not, not really worried about that. But that said, those cylinders will lift, <laughs> they will lift weights uh, to heights that you probably shouldn't have. Uh, of course, this is this is anybody you know who wants to improve your lift capacity at your own risk. Um, I can tell you when I had that pallet of sod up at well, I probably could have lifted it nearly full height. Um, uh, I couldn't do anything else with it. My my bucket cylinders were too weak uh, to pull it back, and part of the reason for that is these these are actually 1.75 just like this. Um, the it's funny enough 1.5 is what the the boom cylinders are these are 1.75 but the reason probably for that is your your rod end is doing the the main amount of work in this case and because of that you don't get near as much pull as you do push with when you're pulling when you're curling back so even though the curl tends to have more capacity in a stock configuration, um, you know, in the case here, they've actually went with larger cylinders and you still have less than you have even on these from a push perspective. I don't know if that makes sense. The other reason to have it in this configuration is regen. Regen only works on the extend. And so um, if you were to try to do something, some other configuration where the actual uh, push end would be the one that did the work, um, your regen would not work. So, I already made this too long, but that is, uh, that is what it is. I, I, I just can't make a short video. This may be the shortest I've, I've done so far though. Hope this is interesting. Questions, comments below. Thanks for watching.